Using the CSS Style Sheets macro, you can add style sheets or custom CSS to a Confluence page to customize your layouts and style page elements easily. Just note that using this macro does require some knowledge of CSS. So starting with the page in edit mode, add the CSS style sheets macro to your page using the macro's shortcut, open curly bracket and CSS style sheets. At this point, you can either add snippets of custom CSS to the macro placeholder, or you can import an existing style sheets. Which method you choose comes down to a number of things, but mostly it is a matter of preference. So using the first method, simply add your CSS into the macro body, and then reference it from the elements ID or CSS class parameter. For instance, this snippet will style the three contact button macros that I've used on my page, once I reference these IDs from the buttons. To do this, I'll locate the elements that need to be updated, select Edit, update the ID parameter to reference the ID selector, and select Save. I'll repeat the same steps for the remaining buttons, and I'm ready to publish. To use the imports method, we can add the style sheets macro to our page in the same way, this time selecting edits. In the editor, define a media type if you'd like to. Then in the imports parameter, enter the URL of where the style sheets is hosted. And select save. If import has been successful, then you should see the style sheets URL displayed here. And provided that any page elements that require styling have been set up to reference the properties defined in your style sheets, as shown earlier, then that's it. Remember, you can style most elements, including macros, that have an ID or CSS parameter. But to learn more about CSS style sheets and best practices, check out the CSS Style Sheets documentation page.